In the heartland of China, we encounter the crossroads of oneness, a setting where the essence of all beings converge. As one of the nation's most extraordinary Buddhist landmarks, this site is home to over 2,300 caves and 100,000 statues, standing a testament to the artistic and spiritual dedication of countless individuals over the centuries. The meticulous detail sheer number of carvings and extensive history set this place apart from comparable locations in China and around the world. Welcome to the Longmen Grottoes. Hi, I'm Noah. Join me as we explore the hidden gems of China and complete thrilling travel challenges along the way. And today we're exploring the Longmen Grottoes, a world-class repository of cultural and religious treasures. Construction of these first hollows began in the year 493 CE, near the historical and cultural hub Luoyang, also one of the major capital cities of the Northern Wei Dynasty. Throughout the centuries, the Longmen Grottoes have stood the test of time as a venerated pilgrimage destination for Chinese Buddhism. Their reputation and fame helped to spread Buddhist beliefs, architectural styles, and art forms across China. Even after the fall of the Northern Wei Dynasty, the artistic creation at the Longmen Grottoes continued into the mid 9th century, making this site a living archive, uniquely demonstrating the evolution of Buddhist traditions during a key period in Chinese history. For over a thousand years now, devotees have flocked to these caves hoping to find enlightenment, to connect with the divine, and to receive healing and miracles. Amidst the abundance of 100,000 carvings, one central theme resonates, the interconnectedness of all things. I view this place as a universal radio station capable of tuning into the vast frequencies of the cosmos. Energy in many spiritual traditions is often described as resonance or frequency. Each sculpture here at the Longmen Grottoes, just as each being that exists in the universe, emits its own unique vibration. Just as a radio can pick up different stations, our awareness can connect and attune to the various energies in existence. So I've come here to anchor this metaphorical radio station and to connect and learn from the rhythms of the universe through two distinct approaches. Later on, I will embark on a meditative journey and unveil some profound spiritual revelations from this sacred location. But first, to celebrate this theme of oneness, I'll be interviewing complete strangers from around the world, drawing wisdom from their life stories and capturing their genuine spontaneous reactions against the backdrop of this awe-inspiring location. But here's the exciting twist. I've connected with these adventurous souls via couch surfing, and not only have I never met them before, but they've agreed to participate without knowing where I am. The only clue I've given them is that we'll be visiting a place symbolizing the singularity of all existence. So buckle up and get ready for a journey full of unexpected connections, profound insights, and the sheer joy of exploring the unknown together. We begin our exploration at Fengxian Temple, the largest and most revered of the Longmen Grottoes. The centerpiece that instantly draws your eye is the 17 meter tall Vairotana Buddha, an icon symbolizing universal love, enlightenment, and the unity of all beings. And so it's here at the epicenter of this universal broadcast. We are ready to go live. Let us tune in and prepare to draw insights and energy as we switch on this radio station to interview unique souls from around the world. Good morning there, Magdalena. Good morning. Uh, how are you? Yeah, yeah, great. How are you? Hey there, Alana. Luca, it's great to connect with you. Thank you. Same here. The theme of this video is tuning into the frequencies of the universe. And I, I personally believe that the universe is made up of energy and that all of us are broadcasting and sharing frequencies with each other. In, in this moment, um, I just really want to kind of connect with you, learn about you, tune into your frequency. So, um, yeah, can you tell me a little bit about, you know, who you are, uh, your, your life journey? Uh, well, as you know, I'm from Algeria, which is the biggest country in Africa. It's in North Africa. For me, as a Muslim, we have our, like, we have our specific beliefs when it comes to the universe. And so we believe that God creates the universe. But let's say spiritually, I believe that every 
everything is connected. It's like one big circle that we are all in it. Okay, we are humans, but we are actually connected to every single thing in this world. I was born in Warsaw, Poland, and then after 15 years uh, working in many different offices and in corporate environment, I really did not want to do this anymore. So I was asking myself what I want to do, and I went to this uh, Thai massage show, and I thought maybe this is something for me. I shut down my life in Warsaw completely. I sold my apartment. I, I just uh, bought one way ticket to Bangkok, and here I was. My name is Gao Gao. I'm from Yunnan. 呃，到这边龙门石窟是过来做一些旅游。在这边的话，像我们是一个团队，我们在这边的目的就是做一些研学，带小孩子来学习我们中国的一些历史，参观一些呃我们国家比比较著名的一个一些景点。I'm in Ukraine as you know, doing、uh, humanitarian aid, and so I thought to bring these sustainable concepts and ideas and, and solutions to to help Ukraine. Because there, there's a wealth of natural resources here that's being destroyed. After we leave, or we leave a place, or we leave this life, we should leave things better than they were. I think it's our duty and responsibility. I grew up in、uh, in New Jersey. My parents are、uh, immigrants from Egypt. I moved、um, to Jerusalem with my, my husband, and we had a plan that we were gonna like fix everything here, and that. You know, nobody was was ever gonna want to kill anyone ever again, and that was it. Was, we're gonna just take care of all that.、But、that didn't really work. <laughs> you might have heard, but I think being on the side and、um, being a watcher is what really allowed me to be outside of all these us them conflicts、um, and to be able to see it as just people. Regardless of what language they speak or what religion they practice, to really understand that there's something similar in in on all the sides, right? It's not really start, really sides. Are you ready for、uh, a little mini tour of where I am? Sure. I was wondering, where are you? Where are you? Of course, I would love to. Yeah, I would love it to tour where you're at. These are the the Longmen Grottoes in Luoyang, China, which is a historic city in central China. Oh my God, you're in China! Man, this is amazing. First, I mean, to they are still in a good shape after all these years. There's a lot of life in it for something 1,500 years old, made it out of stone. I have seen some of these things on Google and、uh, on the internet, but not not like this. It's like when you see a picture of a mountain. But you can never really capture like the mountainness of a mountain.、So、this is really amazing. I would love. This is definitely on my bucket list now. Definitely. I wonder、um, if there's part of it also that it's like because they're from so long ago, but like the truths that these people were trying to express in what they were making are things that like are still there today. Maybe there's this kind of like intergenerational, like through time. Message from so long ago that still rings and like still awakens us today. My last question here for you is, yeah, if you could broadcast yeah a message or a frequency or a feeling that every、uh, living being in the universe could hear, feel, sense,、uh, what would that message be? It's a good question. I would express appreciation and gratitude to all things. My message would be:、uh, love yourself and be yourself. If you are like this, you can spread a message. 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 The first thing that came to mind is it's okay. Like it's okay. There is a place inside of us that kind of connects heaven and earth, and in that place is always somewhere that we have to. Touch into and to retreat into, and there's a safety in it, no matter what's going on outside. Peace, peace. That's my ultimate goal in this life: is to be peaceful, to feel, in, to live in peace and harmony. Having now wrapped up the interview segment of our tour, we move on 
to Guyon Cave, one of the most significant and earliest existing of the Longmen Grottoes. What distinguishes Guyon Cave is its vast collection of inscriptions. With approximately 600 inscriptions adorning its walls, Guyon Cave not only deepens the ancient ambiance of this venue, but also serves as a crucial resource for historians and archaeologists in understanding the spiritual and cultural practices of the past. Next up on our itinerary is the Binyang Caves. These three adjacent enclaves were commissioned under Emperor Xuanwu in 508 in dedication to his parents. Though these carvings have weathered over time, just imagine stepping into these magnificent chambers 1500 years ago when they shone in brilliant shades of red, blue, ochre, and gold. We're now arriving at Wan Fo Dong, literally translated as the 10,000 Buddha Cave. A fitting name as this chamber holds thousands of intricately detailed and lifelike Buddha statues. Some even only two centimeters tall. As I mentioned before, the Longmen Grottoes are a great study into the development of Buddhist art over time. During the Northern Wei Dynasty, the designs were simpler and the decorations more modest. But the Wanfo Cave is a great example of later Tang Dynasty architecture, when the carvings and its details became much more complex and realistic. Although it's just a small little niche in the cliffside here, I can sense a powerful energy exists here. Each little Buddha serves as its own little pocket of peace, its own window to enlightenment. Having toured the main attractions of the Longmen Grottoes, it's time to commence the meditation phase of our journey. I believe each one of these carvings holds its own specific frequency, its own unique story, its own universal lesson within its depths. Now with the intention of tuning into them, I will engage in Trataka meditation, a powerful Buddhist practice that involves prolonged gazing. This technique dispels negative thoughts, purifies the mind, enhances concentration, and is even said to improve vision. So now, let's take some time to immerse ourselves fully in the diverse imagery of the Longmen Grottoes, and together, absorb its ancient wisdom. Four hours of staring into the soul of the Buddha later, and that was an incredibly profound experience. Throughout the process, I was continually fixated on the nose of the Buddha, and I noticed that its face was continually morphing and changing throughout. I'm sure this would have been a magnificent piece of art to witness 1500 years ago. But I think what's even more beautiful is that through the passage of time, Mother Nature has sculpted the Longmen Grottoes with magic that makes them ambiguous and open to interpretation enough so that once you connect with them, you are connecting to a deep and ancient spirit with the power to unveil the faces of the universe. And hey, maybe that sounds crazy to some people, but as, as I say that, I'm filled with marvel and excitement about the possibilities that exist here. If that was just my first experience with a single one of these statues, the potentials are endless. Connection is why we're here. It's what gives purpose and meaning to our lives. And if there's anything I hope you get from this video, it's a more profound appreciation of that truth. I believe the Longmen Grottoes is a magical place with the power to tune into the vibrations of the cosmos. Truthfully, every single human being on Earth at all times carries within them their own pocket radio capable of synchronizing to the beats of the universe. No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, as long as you are tuned in to your heart and listening to its song, you are living out your life's purpose. And that's all anyone can ever hope for. And now, so roommates, I call upon you to broadcast your own frequency, your own message, your own truth to the soul of the world. And don't forget to share it down in the comments below as well. I'll see y'all for our next great China adventure.